Hey there, future nurses. Morgan with Archer Review, back for part three of our Next Generation NCLEX series. In part two, we started talking about our new item types and we discussed all of those standalone items. Today in part three, we'll be finishing this series by discussing the case study. Now you are going to have three case studies on your NCLEX. Case studies are unfolding client scenarios consisting of six questions. So while we usually have computer adapting testing with each and every question, during the case study, the exam is static, meaning you have to get these six questions in this order, which is good news for us because we know what to expect. The first question that you're going to see in the case study will call for you to recognize cues. You're essentially going to be asking yourself, hey, what matters most here? You might be reading a nursing note, an assessment, lab values, and the response can be any of those item types that we reviewed in part two of our video. After recognizing cues, the second question that unfolds in your case study will ask you to analyze those cues. Essentially, asking yourself the question, what could those findings mean? So from those assessment findings, you might have something like a matrix multiple response where you have to identify possible diagnoses based on the findings you identified in question one. After you analyze those cues, you have to do some prioritization. In question three, you ask yourself, where do I start? essentially prioritizing which of those findings need to be addressed right away. The fourth question that you're going to be asked in the unfolding case study will then ask you to generate a solution. You've recognized what's important. You've tried to figure out what it means and prioritized that hypothesis. And now it's time to ask yourself what you can do about it. Again, you'll be reading nursing notes, lab values, progress notes. You might see medications ordered and tabs will continue to be added with additional information as this scenario unfolds. Once you answer part four and identify the appropriate solutions, question number five is where you take action. Not just what can I do, but what will I do? In this example, we see that the response was in the item response of a highlight table where the student had to click on the appropriate parts of that note to identify what actions they were going to take. Lastly, in question number six, you'll be evaluating outcomes. You have to ask yourself if what you did helped. So you'll be looking at more information that unfolds in the case study, maybe a subsequent nursing note, maybe some new set of vital signs or lab values, and identifying if the client improved, had no change, or declined. And again, that can come in the form of a matrix multiple choice, a drop down table, a drag and drop close, any of those item types we discussed in part two of our video series is fair game. Now, there's rarely any guarantees on the NCLEX, but we do know that you are going to see three of these case studies. So take the time to familiarize yourself with them so you know what's coming your way. Thanks for reviewing the new item types of Next Generation NCLEX with me. Once again, I'm Morgan from Archer Review. If you wanna see some next generation practice questions and start getting your hands dirty and studying, you can find us online at archerreview.com where question bank subscriptions start for as low as $70.